Albrecht D. He has traveled a lot in Asia. He has moved from existentialism to Buddhism. His art is comprehensive, esoteric, if that exists at all. Uh, no wonder that a multi-talent like him is also a musician, an advanced musician. The music he plays is different from the one our European ears are used to. It is not so repetitious, not structured in the way we know. It has uh, little action. Albrecht he calls it himself endless music, but take care. He will tell you what he means by endless. Yeah, first, if you hear endless music, you think, yes, that's music without the end. But that's a big misunderstanding. So this music is more in the relationship to that what people called in Pali Nibbanya or in Sanskrit Nirvana. And that's what I have used first was the structure of Balinese music. And then I've started to hear Balinese music in the 60s and then at the end of the 60s I have had the imagination to play this Balinese music too. But I have had no instruments from Indonesia or Bali. And then I've started to build it by myself and the xylophones with the bronx blades I have reconstructed this with very, very long strings. And so I, on these long strings, you have a lot of high tones, simultaneous swinging in the background. And on this, you have a lot of accent playing in the art to beat the strings or like a drumming on the strings. And this was the same sound or nearby is a playing is a Balinese gender music and now another thing was uh, interest for the Japanese culture and so I have rebuilt the traditional sakwachi flute for example in plastic and it sounds nearby like the original traditional sakwachi for example. Hello. 